Friends, in this video for Aithar Advisor, I am going to talk to you on the topic when expensive stocks become cheap. This doesn't happen often. This doesn't happen quickly because expensive stocks remain expensive for extended periods of time. But it does not mean they would remain forever expensive. When markets lose conviction in a stock, they gradually lose that status of being expensive and start trading cheaper. But it's a slow descent because an expensive stock usually comes with a lot of credibility. A stock becomes expensive for a good reason. But the last two years have seen another genre of stocks which became expensive. They are stocks where a story was told in a way which was very convincing. Whether it is India Mart or Zomato or companies in the EV space or even InfoEdge. These are businesses where the stocks were expensive and we did not have an earnings justification for that. So, stocks where earnings justification is absent and they are trading very expensively tend to correct much faster than stocks which have earnings and which have a history of earnings. The stocks with a history of earnings tend to correct much slower. They come down in slow motion and investors tend to buy every dip in both types of expensive stocks. So stocks which are expensive must not be seen in one block. You need to distinguish between the two sets and you need to understand that stocks which are expensive without justification can be very very risky. The story does not usually last. Another point you need to understand is if a stock in a theme which usually trades at single digit PE becomes 30 PE which is three or three and a half times its normal valuation that's very expensive. But in the market people tend to think that when the 30 PE stock becomes 20 PE it is cheap. The stock is still trading at a premium to what it usually trades at. So that's another aspect you need to factor in, in understanding when a stock is really expensive and when it does not justify that expensive valuation. As an investor, it's very important to walk out of an expensive stock which does not justify its valuation. If you are the kind of investor who doesn't like to walk out of stocks, then if you are in an expensive stock which has some earnings justification, then you are in a relatively better place. But in the current year, we are going to see all sorts of expensive stocks lose valuation and derate. I am sure you are seeing investors buy every dip in all types of expensive stocks. But you must bear in mind that when you buy the dip in an expensive stock, which cannot justify its existing valuation, then you are going to set yourself up for future trouble. That's the most important thing that one should remember as the markets correct, as every rice gets sold into and as every dip gets bought into. You must understand that those who are buying the dips are actually fueling the selling for those who are selling the rallies. You are helping them get out. So buying expensive stocks now is riskier and can be more loss generating for investors. And this is a time when you should put that recent history behind and think afresh. In that sense, our understanding of expensive stocks needs to be far more sharper and very much focused on the business and earnings of the company where there is no justification, we don't have a reason to be. Thank you for watching this video.